the media and to see these things. I, I mean, I, I just find it extraordinary that they, and the government is claiming, and I asked the Minister about this in the House, and he did sort of suggest they made, there was a considerable improvement in animal welfare. Well, if that was the case, why won't they let us all in if they're proud of them? If they think it improves animal welfare, let's all come in and have a look. I mean, ha I, I, I cannot, you know, I cannot believe, I cannot get beyond the idea that these, th these cat colony cages, they're more secret than the SAS. They're shrouded in secrecy. No one is allowed to see them. So we're going to consign hens to these things, millions and millions of hens for decades, but nobody is allowed to see them. They're just shrouded in secrecy. So, and uh, I, I find that to me is the, is the most disturbing thing. Two more points. The government is carefully announced, going to announce its decision about uh, switching to colony cages after the election because it's determined not to have animal welfare <coughs> as a, a, an election issue. And I believe it's an, we must make animal welfare an election issue. We must require every political party to say where they stand and whether they will uh, commit to switching from cage systems to free range systems, not just switching from one cruel cage system to another. So I think we need to make it an election issue and not just allow the government to get away with just keeping it off the agenda till straight after the election. We need to demand that the media are allowed in to see them. And the other thing, I just the other point I just want to make is that what the the egg producers <coughs> told me is that what the egg industry wants is certainty. That's what they pray. They want to know we can switch to another system, and that's it. And we're not going to have all these annoying protesters. We'll just agree to a new system. And I said to them, well, this this is completely stupid. Then if this is what you want is certainty to switch from one cruel cage system to another. Because I said there will be no certainty here. So consumers will never buy these colony cage systems. So you're going to live, you're going to put all this investment, well a bit of investment because really they're just taking the sides out of existing battery engages, but you're nevertheless going to put all this investment into these new cage systems and there'll be no certainty. There will be just as much opposition from consumers as there ever has been. So what the Green Party is doing, we've got this pledge, <coughs> we're pledging to get rid of all cage farming <coughs> systems, including colony cages, to replace them with free range systems. So I'm pledging here on behalf of the Green Party. And I think we need to require every political party to make a similar pledge or tell us where they stand on this issue, because what most of them are doing, including the government, is just trying to hope they'll put it below the parapet and, and, and hope that they won't be asked where they stand. Because, you know, New Zealanders care passionately about this issue. They want to know where political parties stand, and the government's trying to keep it off the political agenda until after the election.